Okay. Okay. The interesting behavior of these goofy little fish. Go ahead. He knows I'm watching, so he's not gonna do it. Yeah, keep trying to move that upright. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, let's assume it started now. All right. See. Daddy, I'm recording, so please don't say. No, it spilled earlier. Okay, let's start all over. I think he gave up for the day on that. Hope he tries again. It's funny. Okay. Basically, what he's trying to do is he's trying to turn that piece of PVC upright. Like, well, that one was upright a little while ago. I guess it fell. But he's trying to turn it upright. So, her mom's trying right now. Uh, she's, she's either moving the fish away from the PVC or I don't know. But that's dad, that's mom. Dad's tinier, mom's bigger. There's that fantail thing and he sweeps them all out of the area. But there he goes again. See, he's trying to lift it upright. At least you saw that part. I'm not insane. <laughs> okay, well, this is stupid enough. Good day. You take a look at the rest of these. Goofy guys. It's about there's about at the very at the very least a good hundred in there. The very least. At one point there definitely was about four hundred. And that's rare. Ridiculously rare for um convicts at this size to produce such a stock. So that's 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 what that's kind of cool. And for at least almost 200 or so to survive to this size, they're they're not tiny. I can't get in any closer. But you can actually, if you get in close enough, see their markings now. They're starting to show the... <laughs> He's pissed off. He's starting to flex at me. What's up? What you gonna do? What you gonna do, huh? You trying to punk? Anyway. Um, you can see their markings, but not really with this camera. This camera's kind of, uh, cheap. But, there's a few near the top. And, you can imagine, this is only a 10-gallon tank. You know, my bigger tanks are kind of deserviced. <laughs> that's, that's my 140. That's a 75. There's going to be another 75 over there on top of that countertop. Then there's uh, this thing behind the peat moss bag, which is a uh, 200 octagon. Then my 35, a 20, and then a 55 down there. Uh, he's more like a 60, divided in three as a breeder. But he's no longer going to be a breeder, he's going to be a filter. Then on top of that, in this system will be that sump, uh, that wet dry. I drilled three holes on the other side that are additional for the outflow, which would flow into that guy. Those two holes you saw in that sump 
will connect to that part of the tank where you see those two holes right there and so from all of these tanks it's going to be a one circulated system that will drop all the water into this tank right here it'll it'll be a planted tank and you know the water would come in the sediments would settle then it would rise up to this section here which will be cut off and that will be cut off so that the water will have to uh, fight to get in a little bit of turbulence then it'll flow into it into a like a into a uh, what do you call it an overflow type system that'll go into like I said the sump it'll do the full sump thing and then come out and flow out of the three hoses into half the side of one of these things, these sections, which will be cut off in a classic type wet dry system so setup, which will go up like into this side, up that side, because that's on its side, and then they'll overflow into that chamber, which would, well, there's going to be a blocking right there, so that this chamber would cut, cut into three parts, one, two, and then like a tiny slit right down there will flow into there, then under there, and then this big middle section will be lava rock. Lava rock. That's over there. I got like a few bags, a couple of my car. Anyway. And then it'll, that whole chamber will be lava rock. Then there'll be another split section right there, right in front of the split you see, where the water would flow back up and then down into here where it will flow into this section which will be where the water will be pumped out but I'm thinking that I might even add another chamber where I'll have a um, a fluid bed I'm not quite sure so blah 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 there's the angel fish they're still happy they're still doing good kind of all in one tank right now because they're waiting for their move uh, I had to hook up a uh, fluval uh, 405 to this monster's thing because it kind of started getting a little funky and I had to sort of do a flush. It wasn't for filtering, it was just for the sake of removing the heavy sediments because I don't do the, um, I don't siphon the waste. It just becomes a problem. But anyway, them and of course the crayfish, which are doing quite fine. They have happy in their green water. They're clear green water. Ask me the secret of the clear green water. You'll never find out from me. Anyway, there they are, chilling in the bottom. Let's say hello to one of them. Say hi, buddy. Say hi. They're walking there on the wall. They're all over the place. Then they climb into the filter, and that's always a problem. They walk along that wall. It's a light fixture. They'll climb that. <laughs> These guys are just... They're kind of trying to die. <laughs> but they're doing good. They haven't haven't lost any, as far as I can tell. Well, I think that's good enough. Now, eight minutes. Uh, who wants to sit around watching this crap for eight minutes? Me dragging about fish. We'll check them out. There's about a good 40 or 50 of them in there. And if you want any, let me know. They're marble cray. They breed by themselves. At this size, uh, they're probably two more months before they start burying. Um, probably about three more months until they start burying. But yeah, he's flying, he's going. Um, but yeah, that's what's up. There he goes. He swims, he'll swim across and then go towards the filter and try to get, try to climb their way into the filter. These jags are crazy. And so, there you go. There's some clams in here, but I can't really see them. There's a couple of snails, you can see them right there. Uh, nettle or whatever the hell they call them. They're supposed to be brackish water snails and only breathe in brackish water. But they're like, only had two and now have all uh, 50, so they don't only breathe in brackish water. Don't trust the crap you read online. Alright, peace out, man. Just shy of 10, 10 minutes.